Think of this as extreme home makeover, White House edition. You've heard of the peaceful transfer of power. How about the peaceful transfer of property? It begins in earnest at about 10.30 this morning from one family to another and not a minute to spare. It's the world's most exclusive residence. This video offering a rare glimpse inside the first family's private living quarters. This morning, home to the Obamas. This afternoon, the Trumps. They literally move all your stuff out in one day. You, you are living there, and then suddenly, they, it's not all out on the south lawn. I mean, they pack it up. A 132-room mansion, 95 staff, just five hours to get it done before the new residents officially arrive after the parade. Choreographed chaos with furniture whisked in and out, walls repainted, and artwork replaced to suit a new first family's wishes. Well, I'm guessing this is about as stressful as moves get. I don't think anyone else in the world uh, moves within uh, five hours from uh, the previous tenants. Rear Admiral Stephen Rashan was the first African-American White House chief usher in charge of moving out President George W. Bush and moving in Barack Obama, who had one special request. He wanted a nice shower head, rain shower, uh, and so we had to make sure that that was in place. The Oval Office gets a little redecorating too, each president ushering in their own look. It's going to be well maintained, it's going to be just like it is. I'm going to be working, I'm not going to be decorating. But moving day mix-ups can happen, even here. Nancy Mitchell, the White House's first female usher, remembers the day the Clintons arrived and Hillary's inaugural shoes vanished. We started tearing out items in the closets and looking for things, and finally we found them in Chelsea's room, covered up, you know, with some other items. And they were disaster averted. Chelsea's closet. Oh, I tell you, I never felt so happy in my life. <laughs> but harder than the move, the goodbyes to families they faithfully served. When the Reagans left, and I said, "Ms. Reagan, I'm going to give you a hug," and she said. Well, why in the world did it take so long for you to do that? It's a real family among these people. I mean, they all keep in touch. They go to each other's weddings and funerals. They have lunch and dinner together. The Obamas got a head start this week with crews already prepping their new home just a couple miles away. For the staff staying behind today, it's all hands on deck, down to the very last detail. The last thing that's left before they walk in the door is that their toothbrushes are on their counters. As if they're home. Welcome home, Mr. President. Just a short time from now, 8.30 this morning, the White House staff will gather for the final time with the Obama family in the state dining room, where by tradition they will present him with a gift. I'm told it will be a hand-carved box with two flags inside, the one flag that flew above the White House on Inauguration Day and the flag that flew here at the White House on his final morning in office. Matt, back to you. It'll be a touching moment. Peter Alexander, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.